The big focus here at 9 a.m., the delay in implementation of the much-argued One Rank, One Pension or OROP scheme for men in the military is set to cause a major embarrassment to the NDA government. A retired Indian Air Force war hero has refused to share stage and be felicitated by Defence Minister Manohar Parikar and Maharashtra Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis, citing the same. What more, his action have earned him the praise of the ex-serviceman community, which will facilitate him at the same venue before the Defence Minister begins his function. I have come from the country of the country देश की सेना के पूर्व जवानों की तरफ से भारत सरकार से मांग करता हूं कि वन रैंक वन पेंशन के संबंध में क्या स्थिति है उसका व्हाइट पेपर घोषित करें अगर 2004 में वाजपेयी जी की सरकार बन गई होती तो आज वन रैंक वन पेंशन वाली समस्या उलझती नहीं मित्रों वी हैव डन आवर एक्सरसाइज प्रॉपर्ली so let us hope that it will be done at, at, at the earliest. Let, let us not it. speculate on issues which uh, is not in our end. I can't exactly put a time frame and I'll not put it because it is not within my department. Government is elected for five years. That's point number one. But I'm not telling you to wait for five years. Unfulfilled promises led to this. And if scenes like this did not embarrass the political class enough, there is more on the anvil. Protesting against the NDA's delay in implementing the scheme, this war hero has chosen to not accept the honour the Defence Minister wanted to bestow upon him. There is no action, talk only. You pay peanuts and you get monkeys. Our Jawans and the, the lower rank, they retired the age of 35 to 37 and so on, about that age. And then subsequently, when they reach 60, that is the time, uh, I mean, uh, as they grow up, they, their commitments keep on increasing. The wing commander's actions have earned him admiration from a community which claims it is truly disenchanted with the present government. His thoughts are identical to the thoughts of the Indian ex-serviceman movement and we therefore thought it fit that the Indian ex-serviceman movement must felicitate him for the stand he has taken on behalf of the ex-servicemen. The other felicitation is planned for 1830 hours. ISM intends to felicitate Wing Commander Karnik at 1800 hours. By denying the invitation to attend a function that is to be attended by Defence Minister Manohar Parikar and Maharashtra CM Devendra Fadanvis, hero of 1971 war, Wing Commander Suresh Karnik has given a strong message. At first, he fought with the enemy defending his country and now he is fighting for his fraternity, that too with his own government. With Jugal Purohit in Delhi, this Pankaj Khelkar in Pune for India Today. All right, Jugal Purohit now joins us. Uh, Jugal, you know, what really is the view as far as the government is concerned? Because uh, the promise was made way back in 2013 during election campaigning by none other than uh, now the Prime Minister of this country. Well, uh, it's uh, not just that, Sankeet. In fact, uh, this is one issue where apparently none of the political parties have a problem with granting the OROP. The only issue is that nobody seems to be actually able to execute it. OROP has a unique distinction of featuring in two budget documents, the first in February 2014 under the UPA's last voter account, followed by Arun Jaitley's interim budget in July 2014. OROP was mentioned very, very clearly, but what has uh, upset the, uh, the veteran community, which is which the anger of which is boiling over as we've just seen in this interview, is that despite all these assurances, there is not a single government order operationalizing OROP. That is the that is the cause of concern. And the issue, of course, is that uh, it, it, of course, costs money. And while the ex-servicemen community has a certain figure that it thinks OROP will cost the government, will cost the nation, the, uh, the bureaucracy has a different figure. And it's on account of this. But uh, we are given to understand that Defense Ministry has, has worked out 
the figure to be at around 8,500 crores. And it's this figure which the government has to approve and the ORP has to be operationalized. And that's what's taking too long. The Defence Minister had told us very categorically in January this year that by July, OROP will actually see the light of the day and will be operationalized. Now, in an interview day before, he has made it very clear that he cannot give any timeline. So that only goes to show just why is this community extremely... No, and, and there, is, there is obviously anger, Jugal, because, uh, you know, th there was a felicitation function, which, of course, this war veteran is going to miss, but... Uh, you know, there are a lot of people who are rallying behind uh, Wing Commander Karnik. You have a situation where uh, many of the others, uh, you know, former uh, or ex-servicemen are now saying that they are going to felicitate, uh, you know, Wing Commander SD Karnik at that particular venue itself. Absolutely, and this uh, couldn't, uh, couldn't have been a bigger embarrassment for the government. It's not just some other Sanket. The Indian ex-servicemen movement, which is the, the largest body of the mm. ex-servicemen in this country, has decided to put its might behind Wing Commander S.D. Karnik. So yes, he will be felicitated by them. Not just that, in, in, uh, in keeping in line with what he has done, the IESM has decided, and we have a copy of their press note, that they will not be uh, attending any further government functions where they have to share diets with any of these dignitaries as a mark of protest and opposition to what the government has been doing or not doing for that matter. In fact, there's also a Maha rally which has to be, uh, or which is being announced for the 14th of June where all the different uh, organizations of ex-servicemen will come under one umbrella and okay. then on take a decision on just what to do ahead. Okay, Obviously, Jugal. Things are reaching a point beyond control unless the government now moves quickly. Absolutely, Jugal. Many thanks for joining us. And see you at 10 a.m. when we'll uh, look uh, at this story in greater detail. We'll also pull out a reaction uh, of the present Defence Minister Manohar Parikar, what he has said very recently on one rank, one pension, all that and much more. Uh, in our special edition of First Up at 10 a.m., where this is going to be the top focus. Let's quickly listen in to uh, an interview with uh, Captain Gandhi on the ex servicewoman movement at this moment. The General Secretary of the Indian Ex Service Movement is now with us, Group Captain Gandhi. Sir, my first point to you Wing Commander Karnik has taken a step which is uh, uh, a step which says in itself a lot. Are you with him? Wing Commander Karnik has taken a very, very courageous step. It is very important to note that a serviceman is given a gallantry model, medal for his exceptional services and bravery beyond the normal individual on the battlefield. Mm -hmm. This is a very, very prestigious medal. He is a Veer Chakra body. If he is so annoyed, if he is so annoyed that he is ready to give away his mm -hmm. felicitation um, ceremony because the government has not treated the ex-servicemen well, it must be understood that the one rank, one pension equally applies to him as well as every other ex-serviceman in India. Mm -hmm. So therefore, we are 100% with him and what I think is that it is probably the beginning the way government is treating the ex-servicemen like dirt, even Supreme Court has made a ruling that the government of India is forcing ex-servicemen to behave like beggars, or to, government is treating them like beggars. For every demand, for every fight, for every pension amount which ex-servicemen win from the Armed Forces Tribunal, to the minimum of 1,000 rupees per month, government drags them to the Supreme Court level. So finally, Supreme Court got fed up with the government and told them that you are treating ex-servicemen like beggars.